Greetings. Well, I'm going to make this the last video of the day. I was up this morning making videos about Do For Self. And I heard uh, Sinetta and uh, Hassan Campbell going, be doing a beef. Then I seen a video of uh, Young Pharaoh calling out the Moors. And I started to comment on it. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to throw no shade on nobody. Because I was in a positive frame of mind. I wanted to show how in Detroit that we just don't talk it, we walk it. And even if some of us are slacking, some of us are doing it tough enough to take up the slack for those who are behind the times. And uh, I'm not going to even mention no names. But in times like these, when your government, when your, your so-called government has gone whacked, they out there, they out there, man. Uh, this ain't nothing new, though. You know they impeached. Uh, they want to impeach Clinton. They want to impeach Nixon. They shot Kennedy in the head and murdered him. They've been assassinating him. As Malcolm said, the chicken is coming home to roost. In Florida, they're having flood problems. They're getting ready to have greater flood problems. In California, Hollywood is like shaking bait. You can go in different parts where it seems like America is under divine chastisement. And here in Detroit, we got a chance to maybe prolong our chastisement or maybe resolve our chastisement altogether. You know, uh, in the time of Moses, in the Bible, when uh, Allah put a plague on uh, Pharaoh, Egypt, in Egypt, and he, Allah told Moses to put a what a blood, uh, some blood over the door, or something like that. I don't forgot now, but anyway, it was a sign of Allah for the plagues to pass over those who got the mark of Allah on their door. The mark of Allah should be in the mind. I mean, you might not call him Allah. Maybe you're just a brother and sister who are misinformed of the real name or maybe you go by another name, but it's in your heart to be a righteous person. Well, if that's the case, you know, as long as you call upon that which you believe to be the supreme being in righteousness, pure of heart, because that was the way you were taught or brought up. That's what Allah goes by, or the Supreme Being goes by, the content 
what's in your heart. You know, yeah. if you just try to do right, to be righteous. If your intentions to, to do right and you know you never quite get to it, but you intend to do it, you still might be saved. You still might have the mark of God in your forehead or, or over your front door. You still might get passed over. But them brothers that's uh, really talk like they believe in righteousness or supreme being or a divine uh, conscious consciousness and you can see by their every, everyday activities how they beefing with one another, how they taking people's money with no remorse how they're drunk off of power you know how they're misusing the people's money. How they're misusing the people, leading them on a crooked, crooked path instead of the straight path because the people are like babes in the woods. They don't know no better. They see uh, charisma. And they mistake that for righteousness. You know. Some people are attracted to these type of individuals because they got some larceny in their heart. You know, larceny attract larceny. So snake attracts snakes. If that's the case, you're going to go down and it says that your firstborn are going to be taken. So that means your next generation or this generation might be over for you. But it might be meant to be. You never know. Maybe they got lost in their heart. You can be a baby with lost in your heart. It depends on who's your teacher or who, who, uh, what environment you're in. If it's righteous, trying to be righteous, or if it's corrupt, you don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Rise with corrupt. But anyway, the holiday is coming up. A lot of you gonna be into that Christmas thing and you know, a lot of you don't believe that uh, that it's a, it is a con game being played on you. That's all right. You know, your intentions might be right, though. You know, you 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 might really think that uh, it's Jesus' birthday. You might really think that. Santa Claus is a good spirit to have. Some people just don't believe that uh, that's a, these are days we shouldn't be celebrating like that. But however you do it, if your intentions are pure, I pray that uh, that 
the spirit of uh, the holiest of holy Passover with his plagues and everyone in your household be safe from the backlash that the devil produce, produces but just think about this why is it happening in the White House politics voting time coming up they're telling you that the vote voting always have been rigged they've been rigging elections they rigging this one. <laughs> this one is really this one is rigged they had to come up with a scheme to get y'all to vote for either to vote period either they don't care if you vote for for uh, Trump or I mean the Republicans or the Democrat they just want a job <laughs> See, if you stop voting, you know, they ain't going to have a job no more. And if you start doing for self, they don't want that. You see what I'm saying? So, if you stop voting, the world ain't going to come to no end. Because all your money that, that that's in taxes and all your money that they take out in taxes going over over somewhere else anyway. It ain't stand, you can tell by your neighborhood. You can tell by how food prices keep going up. You know, I know you you know y'all smarter than that, wiser than than that, not to not to peep that game. It's a whole a lot of ways you can tell. Look at all them wars. They got about eight or nine, maybe ten wars they fighting. Where you think your money going? It can't go here. And then you got all these uh, calamities coming to you. You know. So I say, you know, don't put no money in no organizations. Keep the money in your pocket and spread it among your family in your community, in your neighborhood. This is Black Light saying, catch the vibe, baby.